He's been a big operator that he usually will be playing on for the defense. And not too surprising, Mira will be banned for the second time out of the three. But Maestro is a pretty good operator. We'll finally get to see him played in Latin America. Yep. It's in the floorboard. We've seen him up, people open hatches with it in uh, the North American mm -hmm. matches as well. And it is something that I think is... When That's basically to prevent any fire to go through the hall. And this is a bit of an oddity here. We'll see how well that can see through if we get to see on the camera, but... It's uh, possible that grenades might just take it out. Yeah, there's definitely... Uh, although they, it looks like they're using some of their lifelines already downstairs. Boot camp just funneled through all the angles that they want them to, as well as the openings that they have. But that C4, definitely brutal on Pala. What is up, bras? And if you couldn't tell already, the new format for Pro League has been released. And with that, the games are going to be happening just one game at a time. Basically, all the teams will all play each other, and the person with the most points will be the winner of that region. And what better game to start it than the very first game of opening day of the new Pro League between the previous season's champs, Team Liquid versus Bootcamp Gaming. Now, one other change I want to point out, you can't jump this half wall anymore. You can only vault it if you're facing West Balcony or South. You're not going to be able to run from the reinforced walls and vault over that half wall anymore. Anyways, using this new Pro League format is really, really awesome for the spectators. Basically, we're going to literally see any any matchup that you guys want from everybody within the region they're all playing each other and they're faster games because we're just doing one map so I have all the links down below if you guys want to see these awesome games live Coming. either way a lot, speaking of which a lot of sight lines being yep. opened up by these guys trying to fight these angles they're not really reinforcing as much as they are just opening all right, so this is going to be an awesome rotation hole that I really can't wait to get back into some games and test out myself while I'm doing some roams. A lot of times you'll see a mirror set up here that's facing down the hallway, but what we saw in this game was a really awesome rotation. You guys can see that if somebody's in the CCTV room, you can actually line up an angle all the way to this office window all the way down here in the corner. This is a really sick rotation. You can get all types of coverage up on the second floor. Or Echo, just again, like it leaves a situation where it, obviously, I, I mean, I would say that Liquid just possibly was more prepared with their strategies to deal with playing with Maestro with Echo banned potentially. All right, so moving on to our second Maestro setup. This first one is going to be really nice because from the ground level, Sledge isn't going to be able to reach it. And of course, you're going to have to cook a grenade and get that timing down perfect if you want to take it out that way. Of course, you still have the Zofia or the Ash. That could possibly just shoot an explosive at it and take it out. But overall, this is a great well-rounded maestro spot that's going to give you tons of information. As well as stay semi-protected because it can be a little bit tricky to vault up on top of that desk. This second one is going to be downstairs in the waiting room. And I'm kind of thinking that the defenders were thinking that the attackers were probably just going to run past it and not necessarily see it. Of course, it could be pretty easy to spot out with drones. But overall, this one's going to give a ton of good information also before their match. I know I do. <laughs> well, we'll see. Is this team is not sponsored by Monster like uh, EG? EG. <laughs> now, first of all, the team is sponsored by Monster and the casters did correct that after that statement. So they do know what they're talking about. They're just kind of making some jokes about it. And I didn't want there to be any confusion regarding that. But anyways, going on into this Legion setup, this is really nice because in this corner, this is a very strong place to do a roam while you're in security room. You can do very easy west balcony runouts as well as get some nice shots onto anybody pushing through the main door. You can also melee out the bottom of this window and go for jump outs that way as well as with the lesion you get notified when a certain trap goes off and they're going to have to pull out that pin at some point, right? You're going to get a nice easy kill. Band, I imagine teams might be practicing having no glass and, and the offices are for the defense, but this is why you bring the thermite because you just want to deal with now this one right here is just one of those kind of obvious cameras that just works surprisingly well now once you actually throw it up on top of this wall sculpture you'll see that it blends in very well as well as anybody that's pushing through the hallway it's going to be on their back not necessarily looking towards this wall direction this is a great camera to use when you're defending downstairs and you just need a ton of information on anybody pushing upstairs Yeah, he's joining in just to make sure there's nobody to contest. And this is why nowadays, once you...
you have the bandit and you know that you're going to be trying to trick the uh, the armory wall. Now, you thought that this was going to be a Valkyrie camera tip, right? Nope, this is going to be a sick new way that you guys can start to use hatches. And this is something that I'm really going to be on the lookout the next time I'm defending certain objectives. I'm always going to take note and keep in mind about this certain way that you can use hatches. Now, by using this specific one while you're defending the armory lockers, you'll be able to create one of those rare angles where the person on top will be able to see the person on the bottom's feet before they can see them. Now this is just because partially the angle of going vertical as well as the top of the doorway is blocking the spot. You'll see here that by the time, unless I'm lying down, I walk to the doorway, the person on the bottom is gonna be completely wiped out because the person on top looking through this hatch hole is gonna see their feet before the person on the bottom is even gonna be able to see them. Zig's Maestro is very impressive. Yeah. So. I, I wish we had more rounds. Yeah, I, I wish you could go back to defense anyways. <laughs> we'll see how Paolo does it though. Yeah, it gives us an opportunity to compare and you were, you were mentioning Paolo is the player that they're bringing in here as the sub just to try him out. And looking at the game today so far, he's been pretty darn effective. Uh, not sure if it'd be better than Seiya. I, you know, it's to try. Yeah. That's for sure. But I want to see what he has in mind when it comes to the evil eye setups from Maestro. And there you see a bit more of a standard way of setting up the evil eyes. This one will be placed in the back of archives, a bit of a elevation, which makes sense. Pretty much makes it invulnerable to any uh, fire or explosives. So those first two Maestro setups came from the previous season champs in Team Liquid. This one is going to be coming to us from Pala of Bootcamp Gaming. And what's really cool about this and what's interesting is that he used both the Maestro turrets upstairs while the objective was downstairs. But this is also really cool because while you're anchoring, typically you're going to be in the objective, right? So he's going to be able to get a ton of information about what's going on around him and let him know kind of, okay, maybe I should get off the turret now and just give the team a ton of different callouts as well as you can create a cool line of sight using this Maestro turret that's gonna go all the way to the archives and office doorway. as well as this Maestro spot might look familiar. This one's gonna be up on top of the archives. You guys might have seen this one from our previous Maestro spot video. Fortunately not working out. I mean, Echo made a good effort of it at the end, but alas, he had to fight too many, too much manpower advantage. And that's, what is, that's the thing is, if you have two people sitting on your phones, you really depend on the rest of your team to play well. And that is a lot of coverage for CCTV yes. in terms of cameras. That's two in there. The City. That's very true. The have been major change. Now these Valkyrie cameras on the fans of Border literally always troll me. I haven't figured out a perfect technique on how to get them stuck onto the fans and I'm pretty sure you can't even do it. What I believe we saw in the previous clip was him placing it on the ceiling right next to the base of the fan like you see right now. The second camera is really nice because it's going right on the lip of the ceiling and then from anybody entering the doorway of break room, they're not even going to be able to see it unless they go vertical and face up. Now this one's really cool because the one on the fan is a little bit more obvious. If they take out the camera, they're not really going to be expecting a second one so close, so they're still going to have a chance to get a ton of information. That's going to wrap it up for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this first Pro League tips of the new season with these cool maestro setups as well as some other spots. I'll see you guys all very very soon in the next video. Love you all. Peace.